In this video, I would like to show you how to connect SAP Datasphere with Python, including all the dependencies which needs to be considered to get it done. To consume data in Python from SAP Datasphere, former SAP Data Warehouse Cloud, it's necessary to do some pre steps and of course to have some prerequisites already in place. On the one hand side, we need to have the installation of Anaconda done. That means the Anaconda framework is installed on your PC. This normally includes the Jupyter Notebook, which can be executed and works fine. You need to have the Anaconda prompt in place and up and running and working. You should also have set up the SAP Datasphere database user and the SAP Datasphere IP allow list is up to date. I would like to show you how you can check this and also we will do some free steps which are needed for our scenarios here. Like mentioned a few seconds ago, here we have the Jupyter Notebook up and running and we can launch it and we are able to create new files for the type Python. It is working and I can start editing now. On the other hand, we need to have the SAP Datasphere database user in place, which has minimum read writes and of course you can set up, up also the write writes because we would like to consume data out of the SAP data sphere and we are we would like to be able to send data back to the SAP data sphere to store some data and what we would like to use here also is one view which can be consumed in Python out of the SAP data sphere. Yeah, I prepared here one, one, one view, which was uh, set up in the past and also used uh, within other videos from me. Here we have a view, which combines different data sets, master data and also transactional data. And this is a small data set, which includes sales documents with information coming from uh, the customer and also from the sales documents. Here you, we will see now in some seconds, three lines of data and this data we would like to consume in Python in some minutes. Essentially for that is that we can consume this view is that we ex uh, switch it on here, expose for consumption, that we can use it also with Python and consume the data out of it. Here we see the data is already there and we can use it then within Python. Additionally to that, we need to install some packages for Python. And this can be done via the Anaconda prompt, which is also a prerequisite here. At first, we need to install the SQL Alchemy in our system or on our system. I installed it already, but here we give it a short check if this is already there. This one is available and we can go on with a further package. With this, with this um, here we need to install the HANA enhancement for the SQL Alchemy part. It's already satisfied, but normally if you run it the first time, this will be then installed. And last but not least, we need to install the HD, HDB client for HANA, which comes with this package here and can be installed in the same way. And now we have everything in place which is needed 
to go further with Python to connect to the SAP Datasphere environment. So let's start. Switch to our new Python file within Jupyter Network, a notebook. At first, I will paste some important packages into the first section here. We would like to import the pandas environment to display the data frames afterwards. I also import the platform to show which platform we are running on. The HDB client, which was installed minutes before with uh, the PIP command, the same for the SQL alchemy part. Let's run it. Everything without error. That means this seems to work. Now let's try another command where we would like to show the platform architecture of my system here. Uh, we are running on a 64-bit environment, which is necessary to go uh, on further. In the next section, I place all the credentials which are necessary to connect to the SAP data sphere. Yes, at first, the database user, the password, the data, uh, database host, which is the HANA cloud system, and the port. All those information can be found within a space where you set up the database user already uh, by clicking on this small icon here. Then you get out all the information which are necessary to fill in those information. Please be aware that the password will be displayed only once if you create the database user. You need to store the database user password somewhere in your environment. If we done this and create it, then we can run it. Now the variables are filled. The database user, the password, the host, the, pa uh, the port, the ingestion schema is not used now, but uh, this is a schema which is important if you would like to send data back and store data in the SAP data sphere. And the consumption schema here is the main part. That means we would like to consume a view out of the SAP data sphere. To do it, we initialize a connection with all the parameters we have here. The database host, the port, the user, the password. The encryption needs to be set to true. The SSL validation certificate is set to false. And let's try to run it. Now we are connected to the SAP data sphere successfully. Now, I create a cursor for that connection here. Now I will put in the variable with the example view we would like to consume. Remember, this is our view here, now, which I already prepared with this technical name test, underline sales, underline value. You see, this is the same one. And now we can type in, sorry, type in the SQL command, which we would like to uh, to execute. We would like to have the top one, uh, 10,000 entries of this consumption schema for that spe uh, specific uh, view. With this command here, 
we display the SQL command, which is then which is uh, defined here. Additionally, we need to we need to um, execute the SQL command to get the result. Now the re result can be written into an, an additional variable. Let's use rows. To display those rows, it's, ni it's nice to have the possibility to use data frames. The result is now written into rows in the variable. I put those rows into uh, convert it into data frames and display the data frame. Let's see what the outcome is. And here we see our select statement from our consumption schema, from our view. And this is a result we are getting now from our SAP data sphere out of this view. You see those figures are the available directly within the pre preview in SAP data sphere and now also available here in our um, Python program. Now we are able to consume data out of the SAP data sphere and do some further steps within Python with those data records. We can transform, we can calculate, we can do some further adjustments here in Python like you like you know it from Python functionalities. Thank you for watching this video with, uh, with which we are able to connect to the SAP data sphere with Python. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel here and um, watch the other videos and stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.